wants to see a knockout tonight, let me hear a KO. All right, let's bring it out. This is the Shamrock FC Bantamweight title unification fight. Let's go, Travis Sutler. Back at it here at Shamrock FC 317. Jeremy Johnson along tonight with my partner, UFC veteran Adam Sella. Now this is a bantamweight title unification bout. This is the third time that we have tried to get this fight to happen. Now, Jackson originally won this fight over Corey back at Shamrock FC 303. Then it was scheduled to face Sumler. Well, that didn't happen, he was injured. Sumler fought Steve Barbie for the interim and won and then defended it against Cesar Morales. We tried to make this fight happen. There was a snowstorm. Sumler could not make it to St. Louis. So tonight, it's finally going to happen as we find out who the best bantamweight in Shamrock FC is going to be. All right, let's bring out the champion, Tim Jackson. Coming to us by way of St. Louis, Missouri, it is Tim Jackson, who sports a perfect 5-0 record in the world of mixed martial arts. Now, the four-year high school wrestler said, this is my title, it's nothing, he owns a fake one. But as we go to our title MMA tale of the tape, Tim Jackson, 27 years old, 5'9", 134.8 pounds. Travis Sumler, 23 years old, 5'9", 135 pounds. Yeah, Jeremy, what I'm excited about this fight for is Travis Sumler. I've heard on the, uh, you know, through the grapevine that he kind of looks real calm. He's very, very quiet, cool demeanor. And then as soon as that cage door closed, it's almost like a different animal awakens. But Tim Jackson is as tough as they come. Let's send it up to the cage to Stephen Bear to kick it off. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Shamrock FC Bantamweight title unification fight. Tonight, fighting out of the blue corner, the interim champion stands five foot nine, weighs in at 135 pounds. Please welcome Travis Sumler. His opponent tonight, fighting from across the cage out of the red corner this evening. The champion stands five feet nine inches tall. He weighs in at 134.2 pounds. Please welcome Tim Jackson. Jeremy, what I like about this fight is uh, there's a lot on stake. There's a lot at stake. There's a, there's a, a, a you know, you say you got a fake champion, you got a real champion. He defended it. That's a champion to me. So you got a belt that's on the line that means something. Most definitely. Referee Nick Nolte has the call for this contest. Tim Jackson in the blue shorts. Travis Sumler in the black. Tim's coming out throwing some heat. Now, Jackson is the much more athletic looking. Looks to just kind of push Sumler away, throwing heavy hands. Sumler trying to get inside. Yeah, what, I, what worries me about that, though, is Tim Jackson coming out so aggressive. If he's gonna, if he's gonna waste the gas in the tank a little too early, because he carries a lot of muscle, you get that lactic acid buildup. But boy, Summers just eating some punches. I'm not really sure any of those are really landing too solid. Big question mark kick there out of Summers. Now Tim Jack, uh, Tim Jackson's nice and calm, seeing what's gonna happen next, taking his time. Nice overhand right, right there, picking his shots. He oh, nice Summers eats a up. heavy one. Now Jackson is really trying to stay on the outside. He doesn't want to grapple with Sumler. Sumler is a BJJ blue belt. Which is weird because Jackson comes from a great uh, jiu-jitsu school in St. Charles MMA. Trains alongside some of the best out there. Oh, absolutely. Both of these fighters very composed. Yeah, this pace has slowed down significantly. I think Jackson was trying to come out and get a quick finish. He didn't see it, so now he's taking his coach's advice. He's slowing down, taking his time, keeping his composure. Jackson sits down on a punch to the body. Sumler answers with a leg kick. Big knee there out of Sumler. 
I think Sumler's trying to make this a little bit more of an ugly, gritty fight. Nice right hand over the top there. Sumler trying to lock him down. Slow in the pace or eat some heavy shots to, to the Kansas stomach. They him. almost look like they're in two different weight classes. Absolutely. The thing that with Tim Jackson, these guys are both, uh, in the, you know, they, they weigh the exact same on weigh-in day. I wonder if he rehydrated a little bit, a little bit differently. Um, I get a little taken back because him and I are built exactly the same way. Right, yeah, you have the washboard abs just like him. Washboard ab, but yes, we are We are both, uh, they call us lettuce because we're shredded. Did you really just say that? I did. That was amazing. The dad jokes are coming out today. There it goes. Sumler here takes the center of the cage, a little bit swollen there over the left eye. He's eaten a lot of punches. Nice little body jab right there. Jackson's done a good job here of changing up. Ooh. Huge right hand, but Sumler just keeps moving forward. <laughs> Sumler's as tough as they come. Ten seconds remaining here in the first round of this three-round contest. Tim Jackson in the blue shorts. Travis Sumler in the black. Jackson is finding a home for that right hand right over the top. I, th I think uh, I think he's going to keep going back to it and going back to it. And I think, uh, you know, Sumler's tough as it gets. It doesn't look like it's affecting him. Now both fighters, um, you know, Summer's still standing. I mean, didn't even take the stool during it. Now, so if you are in the corner here of Travis Summer, what are you telling him to do? Uh, to be honest, if he's trying to get it to the ground, he's going to have to throw some hands and then mix in a takedown. He's he, All he's doing is going in and grabbing Jackson. He's not really going for, a, you know, a, a, a wrestling-type takedown. He's just kind of hoping he gets something in the mix. Now let's take a look here at our instant replay. Again, Sumler ties him up whenever Jackson overcommits. Sumler grabs the clinch, starts that tie plumb, and starts to throw in the knees. But Jackson is so strong, he can push him away. Yeah, what you see a lot, though, when they get this, this, this uh, little lock on the head there, a lot of times they'll just jump up and try to pull guard. I'm not a fan of that, but that's different strokes, different folks. Well, when you come from the world of kickboxing like you did, you don't do a whole lot of guard jumping. No. Back uh, into the action here. Leg kick out of Sumler. I would like to see Sumler get a little bit more aggressive to see what happens. Big right hand out of Sumler finds a home. Jackson just walking right through it. Yeah, the problem is anything Sumler's doing right now, Jackson has an answer, an effective answer. Nice. Big one up top. His, <laughs> Jackson just shakes it off. His, rea his reaction was, no, sir. <laughs> Not today. Every time I see a kick like that, I just think of that movie, in the first. <laughs> Big right hand there out of Sumler. Nice. Sumler a little more aggressive, but Jackson coming through. Oh, big uppercut. Oh. Both guys just throwing hands. They are Sumler's training. rocked. I don't think he's rocked, Jeremy. I, I think he's, well, you may be right there. I don't think he can get rocked. This dude is wow. like a cyborg. The punches that Sumler has taken nice and body. answers right back. Jackson leaping at him here. Tim Jackson in the blue shorts. Travis Sumler in the black. Jeremy Johnson along tonight with my partner, UFC vet Adam Sella. That Again, right hand has a home. It is Jackson. finding it each time. Sumler now starting to wear this fight on his face a bit. Jackson doing a good job here of mixing up body to head. Fakes the high shot, goes to the body. Neither of these guys are really setting things up right now with the jab. I'm a big fan of uh, just almost a range finder, just keep something in their hands or something in their face, I'm sorry. Nice leg kick there out of Jackson. Jackson has been a big fan of changing stances here. What does that do for you to change stances when you're going through the fight here as we're down to 40 seconds in round two? What it does, I've noticed it does, is it changes uh, the rhythm up. You know, you start reading what a guy does, he switches stances, it's like, okay, we've got to re, re, you know, we're redoing it. Um, there's a lot of guys, nice takedown right there by Jackson. Got that big slam, but I think Sumler, I think he, uh, he welcomed it. Yeah, Sumler now looking for something on the ground. Summer has a great game off of his back. 
Yeah, he's very uh, wiry. He also is a very active guard. Yeah, well, you don't get very active when you're getting punched in the face like that. I think Jackson went in for that takedown at the perfect time, stole the round. Nice round for Jackson right there. I think that's two, two to oh, two to two to zero right there for Jackson. Shows why he has that perfect five and zero oh record. This Can't sold out w crowd is loving the action tonight. Following the show tonight, right across the hall at the American. So now, Sports if you were in the corner of Tim Jackson, what advice are you going to give him? With Tim Jackson, I would tell him just to kind of play it safe. He's already won the fight. I don't think he's got the power, or Sumler's just got a, a, a chin uh, to, to get the KO finished. Uh, I think it's a little dangerous to kind of take him down a little earlier in the round. I think he plays that same kind of fight he's been doing this whole fight. Couple shot, couple uh, moments of, of, of explosion with composure, composure, maybe steal a takedown at the end of the round to solidify it. That takedown has to be big in the judge's eyes here for the second round. All right, black fans, here we go. Let's get these guys fired up, fired up. Let's make some noise. Third and final round in this bantamweight unification fight. Jackson throws a heavy right hand to start. I think someone's going to look for a finish this, this round. He has to. Big going up top there with the high kick. You, poked him in the eye. You've got to set those kicks up with your hands or throughout the, the first two rounds, if he would have just dug at the leg, dug at the leg, dug at the leg, maybe maybe drew his hands down when he, when he moved in for a kick. Nice combinations out of Jackson. Jackson very relaxed here, fakes the shot. Fainting that shot is big. Yeah, I'm a big fan of using feints. I think it's like a chess match. You start throwing a jab, throwing a jab, or fake a shot, fake a shot. It, you, you see what they do, you're reading off of them. Sumler eats another one, trying to get this fight to the ground here again. Jackson wants none of that. If it's going to the ground, he wants it on his terms. Nice right hand, barely missed. Nice knee to the body. Oh, gets the back of Sumler. Big knee. Halfway through this round, Jeremy, and I don't think Sumler's finding an answer for Jackson. No. Sumler, he's a little slower than we normally see him tonight. Yeah, I mean, but in his defense, I think he's been hit a few times. Well, he is, and we, we all know that that can be a, a real rough one to get hit in the head a few absolutely. times. Absolutely. I don't think he wants to get hit, so he's a little hesitant to, uh, to step forward. Big right hand there out of Jackson. Nice leg kick from Jackson, trying to mix up the shots. Sumler has got to do something, because we are down to 50 seconds here. Someone's got to throw a Hail Mary pass. Nice jab to the body. Those start to hurt. Nice. Oh, oh. rocked him. Oh. oh. That, that was an exclamation point. Wow. Big knockout there by Tim Jackson. Sat down on the punch. Yeah, Jeremy, you'll see he set that up with two jabs to the body. Got And he, he, he got uh, Sumler to, to bring his elbows in and try to lower his hands, and then just came right over the top with a, with a missile from, from, from yesterday. And, and Jackson stopped. Absolutely. The ref, the ref, the ref did not it, wave so it off. He came so came in with one more, yeah, which so is what you're supposed to do. You have to be intelligently defending yourself. Great performance by Jackson. I think he won that fight from beginning to end. A huge win there. Let's take a look here at the instant replay. Big overhand right finds a home. He waits. Referee was coming around, so it was just kind of an exclamation point on it. Yeah, but good sportsmanship. He stopped. He, he knew it was done. He had to stop. 
and the uh, the ref didn't step in, and that's what they're supposed to do. Great performance by uh, by Tim Jackson right there over a very game uh, Travis Sumler. Good sportsmanship from both guys. Let's go ahead and see what. Uh, I'm sure they're just congratulating each other. Sumner looks like he's okay. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout has ended two minutes and 35 seconds of round number three. Your winner by knockout, the champion out of the red corner, Tim Jackson. I am here with your winner, Tim Jackson. Tim, a great fight there to unify the title. How does it feel to be the champ? Oh, man, it feels good. I don't understand how I could be two champs anyway, but he's a hell of a fighter. Now, we also saw here in the corner, Violent Bob Ross was yelling at you from the side, but you did exactly what it was. A big shot there took him down, the last one, and it was all over. Yes, sir, yes, sir. So what's next? Any 135 pounder can get it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is your winner, Tim Jackson.